in booktube it's thea and this is going to be my november wrap up so for the month of november i read a total of eight things and dnf'd one so let's just go ahead and dive right in and show you guys what i read in november so the first book i completed in november actually started in october but i was like taking my time reading it because i wanted to savor every single moment of it and that was what if it's us by becky abertow and adam silvera I absolutely loved this. Um, I don't annotate or tab books very often, but I did annotate the crap out of this, um, but I absolutely loved it. I gave it five stars. It was the perfect thing I needed since October was such a reading slump month for me, and reading this was just like, brought me back out of my slump, and I just loved, I just loved everything about this. The second thing I picked up when I had finished that was Captain America Red Menace Volume 1. Um, so I wanted to pick up just because I needed something to kind of get. So I didn't want to make sure that I didn't want to fall into a reading slump. So I picked this up. This is something I've had on my shelf for a while. Um, I didn't know too much about it going in. It was just something I picked up from the used bookstore. And it was okay. I didn't really love it. I ended up only giving it three stars just because I feel like there wasn't a lot of substance in this. Um, it was almost kind of like it was like a middle section between like a story that was in a different run. Um, this was kind of like the middle between that story and like a different story. So for me, I ended up just giving this three stars. And then I ended up picking up Super Sons Volume 3 Parrot Trap. This is part of the DC Rebirth. I've been slowly collecting them and reading them. And um, I needed, again, another kind of just quick, easy read before I started another big novel. So I ended up picking this up. This is something we've had on our shelves. This is the last run in this series, so I wanted to finish it out before the new year. Um, the last volume was okay. I... They didn't know that it had gotten cancelled before they finished this, so you can kind of tell that the ending was kind of rushed, and they had to kind of piece it up and finish up the story. So for me, this wasn't quite uh, the ending I would have liked, and I gave it and ended up giving it 3.5 stars. And then I ended up picking up And the Ocean Was Our Sky by Patrick Ness. Um, I was really looking forward to going going into this. I had really high expectations. I love Patrick Ness. This concept was just so interesting to me about it kind of being a reimagining of Moby Dick from, but from the point of view of the whales and the illustrations are absolutely amazing and they're just like kind of hauntingly beautiful and Patrick Ness's writing in this was hauntingly beautiful but for me the plot was kind of lacking um, and I ended up giving it three and a half stars. I did do kind of a reading vlog where I read this and talked about my thoughts as I went along and I will link that down below if you haven't seen it but um I was I don't want to say I was really disappointed in this because the story the concept is really amazing the writing style is really amazing the illustrations are amazing it's just the plot itself was kind of lacking and so I felt really bad only giving this a three and a half stars but um, I just felt that the plot was a little underwhelming, so I gave it three and a half stars. Also, during like the 24-hour readathon vlog thing that I was doing, I had picked up Darius the Great is Not Okay. This is a 2018 release from a debut author. I really didn't know much about it going in. I had seen that uh, Lala had hauled it recently, and it happened to be at the library. I picked it up. I was genuinely really surprised at how much I enjoyed this. Um, it was really fast paced. I ended up reading it within a day and it's like 300 and something pages. But it was such a fast paced read and I wasn't expecting it. It's a temporary novel about a boy named Darius who kind of just, it's about his life and kind of not thinking that he's good enough, dealing with depression, being and being half Parisian, he doesn't really feel like he fits in. And then his family decides that they're going to go visit his grandparents in Iran. And that's kind of where he really starts to learn about his family and his culture and his history and he meets a boy who he becomes friends with and it's just generally a really sweet contemporary novel about a boy dealing with depression and figuring out who he is and figuring out his life and his background and I really really enjoyed this. I was pleasantly surprised. I thought it was really great for a debut novel and I gave it four stars. And then I, and after that I had picked up another graphic novel, and that's Teen Titans Volume 3, The Return of Kid Flash. This again is, was the last of a run in the DC Rebirth series. Again, this is another one that had gotten cancelled and didn't know going into it, writing it, that they were going to be cancelled. So it does kind of have like a really kind of sped up ending, um, and I ended up only giving this three stars. 
And the second to last completed novel is The Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender. This was another book that really surprised me. I ended up really enjoying this. I gave it four stars. I, again, read this in a day. Um, it did take a little bit of time to get going, but like 50, once I hit like 50 pages or so, I absolutely devoured it. I, I thought that the writing was a really great combination of beautiful and sad, but also had some whimsical elements. And I was genuinely really surprised that I liked this as much as I did. And um, I'm sad that I hadn't picked it up sooner, but I'm really glad I finally decided to pick it up just on a whim. I remember hearing about it on booktube a couple of years ago and it was just kind of like, oh, you know, yeah, I'll get to that one day. And then I happened to see it in my library and I was like, oh yeah, I remember hearing about that and picked it up on a whim and absolutely loved it. Um, I ended up giving it four stars. And the last completed novel for November is To All the Boys I Loved Before by Jenny Han. Um, I had seen this in my library and I picked it up. I wasn't quite sure if I was going to get to it in November because it did kind of have a kind of summer contemporary feel, but um, I'm really glad I picked it up. It did surprise me at some parts. I felt some parts I really, really liked and other parts I felt were just okay. Um, I ended up reading it within a few days. Um, it was pretty fast paced. There are times when I felt like Laura Jean was written at a very younger age than 17 or 16. Um, so I did have a few issues with it. I enjoyed it. Didn't love it, so I ended up giving it three and a half stars, but I'm really excited to continue with the rest of the trilogy and then finally now be able to go ahead and watch the adaptation, but I'm really glad I decided to pick this up in November and I gave it three and a half stars. And the book that I'm really upset with myself that I DNF'd is Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. Everyone loves this book and I, I don't know, I... I don't know if maybe I'm just not in the mood for it. Um, I wasn't ready to commit to, you know, a 560 page book. Um, I definitely am not DNFing it completely. I'm kind of just like putting it down for now and maybe picking it up in a couple months um, once kind of New Year gets going. And I'm not like, my mind isn't everywhere for the holidays. I feel like the holidays are always really hard to like sit down and like really focus. So I'm really sad that I ended up that I ended up not reading this and I DNF'd it like 100 pages in or so, but I definitely want to give it another try when I've got more of a focus to sit down and commit to 560 page book because I know everyone loves this, um, so I'm hoping that I can get to it and enjoy this as well. But for now, I'm putting it as a DNF and it makes me really sad because I was really excited to read this. It was really intriguing. Everyone loves it. Um, and so I feel like it's something that I'll love as well, but I just don't think that it's something I'm in the mood for right now. So here is everything I read in November. What did you guys read for November? If you read any of these, I'd love any thoughts, comments, and opinions down below. As always, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if not already. Happy reading, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!